Sir, are you all right? Yes. You're pale. Do you need any help? No, I'm fine. I am. He's just a little scared of flying. He's going to be all right. Okay. Sir, you look like you're in distress. Hello, sir. How are we doing today? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. He says he's just a little scared of flying. Yes, I'm a little scared of flying. What do you think? Hmm. Well, it looks fine. I've seen the worst. Okay. <sighs> Sir, you just try to relax. Airplanes are the safest mode of transportation in the world. All right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Have you heard anything? Where is she, Jack? I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. She's still missing. The hell, Jack? Are you trying to torture me? Why is it so hard to find her? What? What is it? What is it? Is it the stocking killer? Sorry, Grayson. She's dead. Growing up, I never had any confidence in myself because I suffer from Chode Syndrome. It made my life a hell. I thought I was going to be a virgin forever. Tiling W saved my life! It saved my soul! Tiling W really works. <laughs> Looks good! Uh, we'll see. I made it last night, but... Ended up having pizza instead. You still have that little voice in your head. You gotta nip that in the bud. Middle voice? Yeah. The one that makes you second guess everything you do. It's perfectly normal when you're on your own for the first time. You just need to gain some confidence and smother that voice into submission, you know? What if it's less of a middle voice and more like a big, loud, sarcastic voice? <laughs> it's not easy. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mmm. Good? Yeah, actually. Can I try it? No. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule, Robbie. Hmm, my pleasure. Uh, what are you reading? Oh, um... Uh... The Curse of the Bambino. That's a great book. The Globe has season tickets at Fenway once you settle in. Mm. Thank you, but I'm actually not a baseball fan. Just trying to get a feel of the city. Um, are you originally from Boston? I am. Born and raised. A lot of the newsroom is from here. It really feels like a local paper in that way. Did that change when the paper was bought by the Times? No. I don't think that had a big impact. Good. So, you're a editor of the Spotlight team? I prefer to think of myself as more of a player coach, but yeah. 
Are you familiar with Spotlight? Uh, no, not in particular. Well, we're a four-person investigative team. We report to Ben Bradley Jr. and we keep our work confidential. And what are you working on now? We just put out a piece on this shoddy construction outfit and right now we're trolling around for our next story. How long does that usually take? Hard to say. A couple of months. A couple of months? Yeah. We don't like to rush it. Once we settle on a project, we can spend a year more investigating it. Is that a concern? Um, not really, but from what I gather, readership is down and the internet's coming into the classified business and I may have to take a few look at things. So you anticipate more cuts? I suppose so, but for now, what my focus is on right now is making sure this paper is essential to its readers. I'd like to think it already is. Fair enough. I just think we can do more. <laughs>